So uh, the digital design industry is um, really changing fast. I mean, so fast it's, it's super hard to keep up with. Most of the students that are coming out of school or just, or just coming into the industry, they know a variety of skills. They know basically how to do digital design. They know Photoshop. They know a new, a new product called Sketch, which is actually kind of taking over the marketplace right now. They know code, so they know front-end code. They're good with HTML5 and CSS. Then they're also just very aware of all platforms. So and when I talk about platforms, I talk about platforms like Facebook and Snapchat. And it's not platforms like Microsoft and things like that. These are media distribution methods. Those are the hardest things to keep on top of because you have a lot of devices in your pockets and you're constantly trying to learn things. And it's, and it's really an amazing thing. So there's a lot of different industries that use those skills. So there's journalism, which is what I'm in right now. There is just technology, which is just building apps and things like that. There's software development, and that's, that's designed for software development. There's not as much of that as there used to be. There's the game industry, which is really obviously taking over everything um, as far as the amount of money they make and also the amount of time spent there. Then there's the social networks. Those are all very big. I mean, the industry is growing really fast. And the interesting thing about it is, is you know, I went from being in television to going to technology. And when I went from being a television director to going to technology, all of a sudden I was an artist that worked for engineers, which was kind of a weird change in my career. But it's changed in the last three years. Since Steve Jobs has made design so important, I always say now design is the new black. Um, so all the designers are getting big jobs and we're under demand, are hard to find good designers. So there's a lot of work in this area especially for somebody that has a great aesthetic sense. And understand all these things that I'm saying that you need to know, you can learn all these things and you can learn them online and you can learn them in school and you can learn them in a lot of different ways. But having a great aesthetic value is going to be the main skill that you need to have. And what I mean by that is that you know how to make anything beautiful. So making something beautiful is having an eye for wonderful photography, having a really good color sense, having a great compositional sense. And you can take classes in these things. You don't have to have degrees in these things. Those classes are all over in art. Learning to draw is a really good thing because that helps you with composition and it helps you with understanding value. Value helps you understand color. Color helps you understand how to pick a great photograph and also layout. So there's all these little, and these are all traditional design and art skills. I mean, when I started out with my wife in this industry, we painted with brushes and airbrushes and we did watercolors and we hand drew everything, you know? Um, and right up until you know, the movie Roger Rabbit, where we hand drew everything in Roger Rabbit, the next movie after that was all digital. I mean, we, we, we really got a really great opportunity because we lived half of our lives in the analog world and half of our lives in the digital world. So where you guys grew up with all the tools, is that you know we have a real appreciation for these tools because we don't have to clean brushes anymore. <laughs> we don't have to clean up after ourselves. If you go to school now, when you get out of school, it'll be all different. Um, I think school is really great for learning basics and learning different things, but I think you, most of your learning has to be about learning. You need to love to learn and you need to love to be online and learn. That is huge. I mean, some of the people that I work with, I mean, we're constantly sending each other. We have this program we use right now called Slack, and it's pretty new. And we're constantly sending articles to each other and different ways of learning things. And so everybody's in a constant mode of learning. I would have to say that every day I'm picking up some sort of new plug-in or a new piece of code or a new something or other that I'm looking at and going, hmm, is this going to be real? When I, when, I first, when I first started in this industry, I used to look at new things and I'd say, okay, if they're still around in six months, I'll, I'll do them. Now, it's, I can't tell you what's going to happen next week because people are in their garages inventing the most amazing stuff and it's, 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 I can't predict the future anymore. I mean, obviously we all know screens are going to go flat and we're going to have implants and we're going to have, you know, 3D everything. But, you know, when it really comes to the really innovative stuff, 
you, you just don't know what's gonna happen. You know, I mean, Oculus Rift is cool, but I mean, I've also went into a 3D dome that was with four 6K projectors and it was seamed together. And it's like, and they redid all the like golf courses of the world, the famous golf course. And it's like being there. I mean, it is so much like being there, it's amazing. The guy who, who the guy who's inventing that actually, he did the, the original Tron movie which is pretty interesting because he's about 70 years old, but he's still out there innovating in a really an amazing way. So that's the other thing about this industry is that there's no such thing as retirement. <laughs> you're just, you're just going to keep learning and doing and keep doing it and loving it. And it's so much fun to see your stuff. As you know, you guys today, you know, saw that they announced the Apple Watch and, you know, they, they announced my work on the Apple Watch, which is like, Really a great feeling, you know? It was a really interesting time right between analog and digital. That is the, one of the most interesting things about my life is just the fact of moving from a completely analog world to a completely digital world.